Sean Becker gets the first call, lead him down the back straight away, followed by Shane Golovic, but Kading there in the third spot. Pulling the wheels off the ground once again is Shane Golovic in the 17W when he came off of turn number four. All that rain we had early in the week has had this track just fast and hammered down all night long. Half spin almost for DJ Neto, cost him a couple of positions in car number 88 in. He's bounding around through the rough strut of where in turn number one, now gets it gathered back up. Problem for Justin Sanders, the 57 on the back straightaway is slowing. Justin Sanders moving slowly on the back straightaway, the yellow flag is out. Trouble on the front straightaway. Michael Vicino upside down in a wicked way. Red flag is out. They're about ready to go green. Back to it. Becker leads Golovic, then Bud Kading, Joel Myers Jr., Corey Lyason side by side for fourth down the back straightaway. Becker had to check up going into turn number one. Golovic gets a little bit sideways, but Kading's all over him down the back straightaway. Door is open off of turn number four. Shane Golovic puts a nose in front. Shane Golovic takes the lead. Golovic takes it away from Becker. Ryan Timms off the racetrack at car number 5T on the back straightaway. trying to figure out a way to put a lap on Tim Essenson, but that's just how fast this racetrack is tonight. It's very difficult to even put a lap on one of the tail enders. So I believe we have 16 cars on the same lap as the leader. Golovic to the inside of Justin Sanders, put him down a lap and they nearly touched. One more time around for Shane Golovic. win the Anthony Simone Classic. Shane Golovin gets it done. The Northern Auto Racing Club sanctioning this $3,000 to win non-wing race. The first time there's been a non-wing race in forever. Green flag is out. Bill Baylog gets the first call. He'll lead him down the back straightaway, followed by Tyler Courtney. Billy Aton there in the third spot. Ryan Burnell going to the top of the racetrack trying to find something. One lap complete, Bill Baylog is your leader. Tyler Courtney looking down low, trying to make something happen. Here comes Ryan Burnell. First time he's seen Keller Auto Speedway in his career. Baylog leads the lap. Tyler Courtney pressuring him in the Roth Motorsports number 83. There goes Sunshine. Oh, he's gonna be tough to beat now. Tyler Courtney out in front. White flag is out one more time around for Tyler Courtney. Down the back straightaway, Max Adams trying to get around Billy Aton for fourth. Sean Becker to the inside of Aton. They go side by side. Checkered flag in hand from Big Ed Ince. And Tyler Courtney wins the Anthony Simone Classic non-winger.